So my name is Sharon Sanderson and I'm a foster carer and I also run some Airbnb properties. Uh, my name is Adrian Dyke, I'm a watch manager for Cumbria Fire and Rescue Service and I've been a foster carer for two and a half years. I'm Adele. I'm Lee. I'm with foster carers. So the reason we chose short-term fostering is that we are um, at a point in our life where in the next 10 years um, we both would have retired naturally and we've always had the dream of going travelling but also that we could help um, a, a wide range of children from different backgrounds by doing the short-term rather than a long-term placement. So initially uh, we envisaged short-term fostering but after we did the training it was sort of apparent that we were really going to struggle as a family to, to let a child go after, it, after they'd been with us for a number of months so we struggled with that and we decided to go long term. We went for the short term, so when the ch ch child or children move on, we can then regroup as a family, take time to spend with our children. So there are a huge need for foster carers in Cumbria because we've got over 700, 760 children in care in Cumbria at the moment, and we've only got 250 foster carers. Um, one thing I would say is I've met an incredible range of people from all different backgrounds who foster. Different ages, different family circumstances, different you know, family makeup and um, it is something that you know, people can consider from any background at all. I think all foster carers, you want to make a difference. Everybody says you want to make a difference but as time goes on and you reflect back over the years it's the really little things it, that first smile your reward. Yeah, just things like a little smile from them. Just the first know, hug. It, it's yeah. not expecting big things. It's small yeah. steps. So I've been able to really make a difference um, to those children that have come in. So that's been really incredibly rewarding from a personal and professional point of view. But it's also meant that I've been able to be a better mum, um, a better daughter and a better wife, I hope. You know, and I've actually also had a bit of time for me, which never happened when I was working as a head in school. There is a good package of payments for foster carers that increases with the, the number of children that you look after and also increases with the training and experience that you have as well because you know that fostering is something that people want to do but linked to that is you do need to be able to financially do it. The training that they offer is fantastic and support that's applicable to the what you're going through at that at, time. At that time and then you've got your social worker at the end of the form and that's, that's when you need it. There's lots of uh, coffee mornings, open days, uh, events where people can come along and chat to foster carers like myself. We spent a day with somebody who'd been fostering for a long time, uh, discussing all their experiences, the pros and cons, which was really useful. First part of the process is to contact us. It's a rigorous and thorough uh, process that will have somebody with you throughout all of the steps of the journey you need to be willing to be very open. You know, nobody's looking for perfection here. They're just looking to see how you dealt with the challenges and circumstances that you came across. It's been a really positive experience. It's been challenging, but with challenges come great rewards. I'd just like to say that fostering has probably been one of the best things we've ever, ever done, isn't it, really? Yeah. Just yeah. making the difference to, because we can make the difference. If you're interested in fostering, call us today, come along to an event, go to our website.